Hey guys, we're at a shop called Best Electric Bikes USA, and we're checking out the BC965 display from Bafang. It says intelligent right here. Sometimes it might be branded to a specific company. We're looking at an OptiBike uh, Rocky Mountain commuter here, and I don't know, it's, it's kind of an interesting display. I've seen it before. The button pad can be a little bit vulnerable because these buttons here, they're just these little plastic things, and if you accidentally snag it with like the corner of your coat or shirt, they can get bent up. So be careful with that. There's just three buttons. The display can swivel forward and back, but there's no, no removability, no USB or anything. Quick disconnect for the power cable. So I'm gonna go ahead and boot this thing up. Press the power button for a second. You see all these extra little menus that show up. And then we've got your speed, your battery level, five ticks, your assist level. It starts in one on this bike, but it goes all the way down to zero and all the way up to five and then trip stats below. If we press that power button, it goes from average speed to max speed and then current speed. And then down here, it starts to cycle through trip distance, odometer, and timer. If we wanna clear any of those trip stats, you hold the plus and minus keys together for a couple seconds and it kind of clears everything. So I'm gonna take it back to trip distance. We've got zero there. If you want to activate backlighting on this display, you hold the plus button for a couple seconds. If you want to activate walk mode, hold the minus button for a couple seconds. There we go. And if you want to enter all the settings and maybe change from miles per hour to kilometers per hour, double tap the power button. So tap, tap, and here we go. So it says miles per hour, kilometers per hour. And I'm just using the plus and minus to navigate the rest of these menus. As we press this power button, it cycles to backlight brightness and a whole bunch of other uh, just different like wheel size, um, and then password. This bike has a password of one, nine, one, nine. And this is where you can adjust the top speed. So right now it's at 25 miles per hour, but we could take it down. Sometimes people wanna go a little bit slower, just feels a bit more comfortable that way, and it'll extend your range. And there are a bunch of other menus in here. Rather than listing all of them out, I'm going to link to the EBR forums where I'll have the actual official Bafang like settings guide and you can dig into anything extra that you might might want to know. Please sound off with comments or feedback, questions. I'll continue to do these little display overviews to help you guys out. Have fun out there, ride safe.